welcome back guys so uh, in this second part right uh, we're going to discuss about what are the different types of vpc peering and as well as what is the design how exactly the connectivity will be made okay so uh, so let's start so there are basically two types of vpc peering one one will be uh, vpc peering inside a region okay that means if you take us east one right that is one region inside the one region if you're going to create uh, vpc peering between two vpcs right then it is vpc inside a region or i simply call it as intra intra region vpc that means vpc or vpc peering intra region vpc peering that means so vpc peering in a single region so before before uh, i think it was november 2007 we, you can't really have a vpc peering uh, so 2017 not 7 sorry uh, before uh, november 2017 you can't really have a vpc peering uh, between two different regions VPCs in two different regions actually, but it was actually first implemented by Azure I think so uh, which is nothing but VNet gateway peering actually But after that even AWS came with this, this new feature saying that one uh, VPC peering between between <coughs> Regions or between the VPCs VPCs in different region Okay, between uh, different regions actually. So imagine here you, you can only have with US East hyphen one, whereas for ex example here you can have a, a VPC peering between US East hyphen one to US. I mean, you can have uh, you can also have between different regions. I'm just giving an example. So if you can have between a VPC in US East one to US west one actually so they start communicating without you really don't need to do any uh, any big setup of network and everything it's straightforward you just need to edit the routing and they start communicating so as i said so if you are doing the vpc peering in one region now uh, it is called as intra vpc peering and uh, if you are planning to do the peering between the vpcs in two different regions then you can call it as actually i'm going to put the name as intra vpc peering or intra region sorry inter vpc region inter region VPC peering okay one is intra region VPC peering the other one is inter region VPC peering now let's uh, create a diagram how exactly it looks like okay so I'm going to open another MS paint now I'm going to draw two regions first here okay two regions so I'm going to put something like this so I'm going to put uh, one region like this and the other region will be in the right side now what will happen is here I'm going to take this region as US hyphen East hyphen one and I'm going to take this region as which is uh, US hyphen East hyphen two. Now what exactly is US East one? We know that it is North Virginia, right? And dot V whereas uh, US East two is Ohio. Okay, US East two is Ohio. Now let's take a let's let's imagine i'm going to put two vpcs here okay i'm going to put a vpc which is actually i'm going to name it as green i'm going to put one more vpc here or we're going to let let's draw a little bigger so this is one and i'm going to draw this one I'm going to give it orange yeah so I'm going to uh, draw a similar one in the Ohio as well I'm going to make it blue so imagine we have three different VPCs here so this is the design before we go and creating start creating inter VPC or intra VPC everything we should understand the design first okay so I'm going to name this as green VPC green VPC and uh, I'm going to name this as uh, orange VPC and I'm going to name it as blue VPC now as you can see the blue VPC is in a completely different region so it's not in the US East one region whereas uh, green and orange are in different uh, same region actually now I'm going to give address space now we are going to follow uh, the rules here IP address must not be same between the VPC so that means I'm going to give uh, the green VPC as 
the IP address space as 10.1.0.0/16, and I'm going to create for orange 172.16.0.0/16, and for blue VPC I'm going to give 192.168.1 sorry 0.0/16. Okay, now inside that VPC, you can create one subnet, which uh, one subnet at least. Uh, so where you need to create the machine. Okay, now I'm going to create a subnet as well. I'm not going to draw here, but the subnet will be 10.1.1.0, uh, 1.0 slash 24. So I'm going to put subnet name as well here, so to make it things easy for you. Subnet is 10.1.1.0 slash 24. Here. subnet is 172.16.1.0 slash 24 okay here the subnet is subnet is 192.168.1.0 slash 24 now i'm going to place three different servers in each one i mean i'm going to put a server one here okay and uh, I'm going to copy this and paste it on all. So each VPC contain a single server. Yeah. So I'm going to give an IP address of this server. So I'm going to name it as uh, green server and I'm going to give 10.1.1.100 and I'm going to give this one as orange server and give 10. Dot <coughs> sorry. 172.16.1.0 sorry 1.100 next is blue server which is 192.168.1.100 okay so like this we need to create three different environments now once we deploy the machines right obvious they cannot communicate with each other so what we need to do is the plan is to establish first intra vpc peering or intra region vpc peering that means we need to establish the communication between these two vpcs once that is done then we are going to establish the communication between these two VPCs like this as well as like this like this as well now if you see what what is the name names we need to give here so we can say like th this is actually a intra VPC peering intra VPC peering so our intra region VPC peering but these two right inter region VPC peering these two that's it so this is the overall design we're going to implement so end of this class right what exactly it should happen is all the all the three servers should be able to communicate with each other. That means the green server should be able to reach to the orange server and orange server should be able to reach to the blue. So I mean orange should reach to the blue as well as green. Green should reach to orange and blue and blue should be able to reach green as well as the orange server. This is the total design we are going to deploy. So what we need to do, we need to have three VPCs here. So let me go to here. I'm going to right now. Let me see if I have three VPCs here. So uh, right now I'm in uh, e, uh, US East 2, right? So let me change it to let me change it to US East 1. So what I can do is I can just go here. Yeah, internet is damn slow. Okay. <clears throat> so let me show you if I have enough VPCs, like um, whether I need to create it or I already I should have already have the VPCs so I don't need to create it but in your case you need to create this design you need to create three VPCs and give the exact um, I mean you can use if you have very good idea on IP addressing you can give uh, whatever IP address range you want but only thing make sure that it won't overlap with the other VPC that is the major point here so if you start overlapping what will happen I'll show it to you yeah so let me see first of all uh, whether our infrastructure is ready or not and from there we can proceed okay
if you see it is I having three VPCs I'll go to UO VPCs here Okay, uh, if you see, I have a green VPC, I have 172 VPC, or I also name it as, uh, let's put something like uh, uh, orange VPC, yeah? So I already have the green VPC, by the way, which is in 10.1, and orange VPC on 170 to 16, as per our design here, yeah, 172. And let's see, if I go here, I also already have the blue VPCs. Only problem is I have this in 170 to 16. That means this overlaps uh, with, uh, but our, as per our design, right, the blue should be in 190 to 168. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give, hmm, just rename this one. I'm going to create a new VPC. So click on new VPC. So it is also a good example or a good practice for you. I'm going to put a, what exactly you need, you need to do. I'm going to create a blue VPC right now showing you what are the things you required. In your case, you need to create here as well as into the East US if you don't have it. If you already have it, it's fine. Otherwise, you need to follow the same steps what I'm going. So I'm going to give 192.168.0.0 slash 16. Yeah, create it. Okay, done. I have one VPC and I create one subnet in this one. So one thing is I'm going to right click enable DNS host names. I just make it enable. Right. Next is I'm going to go to the subnets. I'm going to create one subnet. So so this is this is the old subnet. Create subnet and I'll say blue hyphen subnet hyphen one. And I'm going to come here, blue, select this US is 2A, give 192.168.1.0 slash 24. That's it, just give a edit settings. I just modify enable auto IP settings so that it will get automatic public IP. So, but you can ask me, you said you don't really require a public IP for VPC peering. No, the public IP is not for the VPC peering, it is for us to connect to the server. Yeah, so. I have the routing tables, so blue main table. Okay, we need to have internet gateway as well, and then we edit the routes. So create internet gateway, blue IGW. Attach to VPC, I have the blue VPC, attach it done now I'll go to the routing tables and uh, I'm going to attach the route we all we did everything uh, all these things in the, the earlier parts right so you can actually refer to the earlier, earlier parts so I go here and select the internet gateway so that uh, the traffic can go out of uh, so you can ask me, is it really required for the VPC peering? No, it's not required, but uh, let me tell you, you need to connect, right? In order to test the lab, I need to connect to the server and test it. For that, yes, we require these routing tables and everything. And we also check the routing tables once uh, VPC peering is established. So I'm going to add the subnet here. Okay, and I'm going to create a security group. And I'm going to create, I think it should be already one default should be created here, this one. So I'm going to give blue default and uh, outbound is already created inbound. I'm going to put something like this edit and I'm going to don't give this in real time. This is, this is a very bad practice to give 000 slash zero in real time. But again, this is for testing purpose. Yes, I'm going to give it. So that's it. So what I have, what I have is I have uh, a, blue v, a blue VPC. As per our requirement, if I go here, I have a blue VPC with 192.168 and I also have a green VPC with, uh, or I can simply give something like this, green hyphen VPC and I'm going to edit that and give, anyway the IP address is displaying on the right. So I have the green VPC with 10.1 slash uh, 16 and the orange VPC is 172.16.16 16, and I have the blue VPC with 192.168 so which satisfies our design here, right? So in the next next one, right, what we're going to do is we're going to create the 
intra VPC uh, peering first. So that means we're going to establish the peering inside the two VPCs in US East one and then test the communication and later video will go for intra uh, inter VPC uh, peering which is between the regions. Okay. So thank you guys. Thanks for watching. Let's meet up in the next video and uh, have a good day ahead. Bye.